Hello Libra, welcome to your March 2014 room scope. My name is Amanda. As always, be sure to check out the video for your rising sign as well. That can give you some more information about uh, other themes and things you may be dealing with in March. Or you can schedule a private consultation with me. I do those on Skype. Uh, they're $65 for a half an hour session. I do uh, set those up in the order that I receive emails. So uh, sometimes it can be a few days before I get back to you. That just means that there were quite a few people ahead of you. But once I get everybody scheduled, I promise I will respond to your emails. Let me take a look here at what's going to be happening for Libras in March. It looks like some of you may get, uh, well, part of the focus. I think it was specifically the first couple of weeks of March when Mercury is still kind of making its way around. There may be miscommunications or some of you may get some news that you're, that is disappointing, but for whatever reason, I don't, I don't think this is kind of the final word on something. So if you're waiting to hear back about something, um, and there's been a delay around this, I, I mean, some of you may get a, a negative response or a disappointing news, but for others of you, it may just be that this is going to take longer than it was going to take, especially if this involves a legal case um, or a settlement or anything having to do with um, the law. It could be that you are going to be waiting a little bit. Um, this could also be the... Um, help from an organization, a government organization, if you've been waiting on like, you know, a check or some kind of payment from a government agency, uh, you know, there, there may be more steps that you have to take or some kind of delay around this. So it seems like you may be dealing with that um, in March. And it seems like you have plans for moving forward that you can't pursue until you hear about this or, or, or get this news. So, um, you know, it may delay you moving forward in some way uh, for a little bit in March. But I think that's going to turn around towards the end of March, Libra. For some of you, this may be news about someone that you are in a partnership with. This could be, you know, of course, a mate um, or a business partner or a company that you work for. It could be that somebody just has not been forthright or honest with you, Libra, and you find out in March uh, about this. And for some of you, that will be maybe the final straw. Some of you may decide that you're going to leave a job or a, a relationship, um, or a friendship. This can also be anyone you're close to, but if someone's been dishonest with you in March, you it may be, you know, you find out kind of the final piece of information that's been hidden from you and decide to sort of end this relationship, friendship, whatever, you know, you're going to sever ties in some way. Um, and I think, you know, you'll be making the right decision. If somebody has been dishonest with you, um, they may have presented themselves to be a certain way and that's not who they are. So you may have been deceived Libra. Um, that's okay. You'll be able to move on. And, and I think that you will have the support of people around you. And, and, you know, honestly, a lot of people around you may be happy that you are leaving this situation or, you know, leaving this person behind because they maybe have been worried about you. Um, or just concerned that you're not going to get what you want out of this. Uh, some of you may have a group uh, involvement in March or something planned, like an event where you're going to be with your friends and, you, and have a really good time in March. So there may be, if you're invited to any parties or invited out uh, by friends, um, definitely go because uh, I think you're going to need to kind of get away and get out and, and uh, meet some new people. Because some of you could meet someone, you, you single Librans. Um, you might be able to meet someone through friends or maybe, you know, one of your friends um, wants to introduce you to someone or they invite someone to a party that they want you to meet. So definitely accept invitations to go out in March, Libra. Those, uh, those things are going to be very well starred for you. And you're going to have a good time. And you deserve it and you need it. But help you can expect to receive in March will come in the way of, again, escaping, getting away. Some of you may be planning a vacation or thinking of um, thinking of your next move in some way. So uh, this is going to be a nice distraction, um, focusing on your future or focusing on a trip, focusing on a vacation. Just a much needed break, even if it's a staycation, just kind of planning things that maybe you want to do. Some of you may be planning a goal or a shift that you want to happen this year. So you may be 
thinking about that, working things out about that, you realize that it may, you know, you're gonna have to be patient, that it's gonna take a while for things to come to fruition, but um, you're actually gonna use that time wisely and, uh, you know, research, investigate, figure out what you're gonna need to do to, to make this thing happen. Um, any delays in March, I, I think you'll kind of be happy for the break. And, and so, I mean, if you, if you maybe um, don't have a lot going on the first few weeks and are able to just kind of relax a little bit, I think you're going to be grateful for that time because you're, again, you're going to use it. It's going to be, uh, you're going to use it to your benefit. Oh, and I do want to mention those of you who do meet someone in March, they're going to be the complete opposite from whoever you've been with in the past. So, um, and it's going to be refreshing. You're going to like that. I think you're kind of looking for that. Some of you may be purposely, look purposefully looking for someone who's completely different from your ex. Because <laughs> you've had enough of, of selfish. I think a lot of you are dealing with selfish people in the past. You're looking for somebody who is more equal. Libra, you're all about equality. You want a partner. You don't want somebody to tell you what to do, and you don't want to tell somebody what to do. You want to be, you want an equal. You want a partner. And uh, so I think that you're if you are focused on that, and that's what you're looking for in 2014, that can be yours, Libra. I think that person is going to be drawn to you for that reason. And because you're not going to give people who are not looking for that the time of day. So... What has to be accepted about March or what, you know, what you can't change is that you may be getting unsolicited advice from people who, and, and when you do get advice from people in March, it'll be people whose own lives are in a state of crazy disarray. So you're going to be like, really, you've got this mess over here and you're giving me advice about because it seems like they may be very self-righteous and it may just get on your nerves, Libra. And you know what? Nobody can cut through BS faster than you air signs, particularly you Librans. So, I mean, you may just, you know, cut them right off with one of your trademark um, smart-ass retorts. And good on you if you do, because this person needs to be shut down. They're a blowhard. Go for it. I'm in your corner. By the end of March, Libra, whatever was delayed will be moving forward. There may still be some issues to work out, but I mean, at least it will be moving forward. Um, for those of you who, if this was news that maybe you didn't get a job or didn't get an opportunity you wanted, other opportunities are going to present themselves by the end of the month. But a lot of you, this may be the same thing. There are just some details to still work through. Um, and, you know, these may be frustrating, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Like, you will see what the um, results, the fruits of your labor are going to be. Some of you may be dealing with some family issues at the end of the month. Someone may be unwell, or there may just be disputes between family members. This may involve some of you. Well, it'll be different for all of you. Some of you may be involved. Maybe you are having a dispute with someone in your family. But for others, this could be just going on around you and you're kind of dragged into it or someone's trying to drag in, drag you into it and you're trying your best to stay out of it. <laughs> um, for a lot of you, this may involve an estate or money or, or property. Um, and, and you may be, like I said, dragged into it. If you are dragged into it, Libra, though, it seems like maybe you can say something that will set someone right. And that could be, how, again, how this plays out. You know? Maybe this is where you, you get that barb in, where it needs to be said. Maybe somebody, you know, this is that situation. And so that maybe that's why you're kind of pulled into it, even if it doesn't involve you directly. Um, some of you may be looking to buy new property in March, and that's another way this can play out. You may find a property that you're really interested in, a new home. Um, and those of you who are looking for a home, if, if a deal falls through on a home that you wanted to move to, if that's what this was, because that's another, that can be what happens where, where you get news that it's a disappointment. If you didn't get a place, or you put a bid in, you didn't get a place that you wanted. That's because a place you find at the end of March is going to... Um, 
it'll just feel like home when you walk into it. Honestly, you will just know as soon as you walk into this. So if, if something falls through, you're gonna find your home at, by the end of March. If it's just more stuff you gotta kind of work through, by the end of March, you'll be able to um, you know, work that out, pick up, a, get your moving date, know when you're gonna be able to move forward. And I think you'll be very, be a lot happier at the end of March than the way March starts out, Libra. It's almost like two completely different books. The first two weeks is kind of a crappy story, but the last two weeks, man, Things are happening. Things are looking up. You're feeling a lot more positive. Um, even the first two weeks, though, I think if you if you uh, hang out with your friends, you know, go to lunch, set up lunches, dinners, you know, drinks. Just hang out with your friends as much as possible, or or your partner, if it's not that's a bad person. <laughs> Those of you who are in a good relationship, if you you know, with somebody who's been honest with you. Um, yeah, just spend time with people that you know are going to bring you up, not drag you down. And, um, you know, so even, then even the first two weeks of March, I think, can have some very high points. But overall, some stress, a little, a few little things you have to deal with. But, I mean, it's it's to a good end, Libra. And, and you're going to be very happy at the end of the month with uh, the way things are working out. And, and, and if you do have a new home that you find at the end of March, the price is going to be right. It looks like you will save way more money so if something falls through if you don't get a property that you thought was the one this one's gonna like you like you won't even remember it by the end of march because this one is going to be the right place and the right price you're gonna have money left over even for other things so get full of your intuition in libra march especially where property deals are concerned and, and homes and family things because your intuition is going to be very strong around those areas and you're going to speak your mind to someone who needs to hear it. And it may be the last time they, you know, it's, you know, tempt fate to rub, by rubbing you the wrong way or saying things that are, um, you know, not their place to say. And that's kind of why I think this, that evokes this response. They're, this person's just rude or says something that, you know, is really out of the realm of their knowledge and you set them straight with a quickness. So, Good on you, Libra. Have a great March, and I'll see you back here in April.